the OT Spotlight. What if I told you that the Panthers offense would not only be fine with Cam Newton, but actually look light years better and have their most productive outing of the season? Rhetorical, yes, but the answer is very much in this highlight. Kyle Allen got the word on Friday that he'd be the man who gets the starting nod. We jump to the third. Panthers up one when Christian McCaffrey gets loose like a teenager with a Twitter account. 76 yards in Carolina. They go up by eight on this play, and it was a dream outing for Allen. He completes 73% of his passes. They were only hitting about 50% before that. And look at this dart. He throws off his back foot just over two Cardinals. Perfect placement. He threw four scores like Abe Lincoln once did. Panthers get the first win of the year, 38 to 20. With basically an infinite game lead on the NL East all season long, it was merely a formality that the division crown would belong to the Braves, but that doesn't make the feeling from Friday any less special. The 6 0 win over the Giants in their series opener sealed the deal as Ronald Acuna Jr. registered the final out. And afterwards, naturally, Suntrust Park, it basically turned into Sigma Chi House. We got chugging going on. There's not a lot of clean shirts in the place. And let's just say those goggles, they aren't for skiing. You want to talk about maybe the happiest dude there? Shane Green was on Detroit, who had the worst record in the league near the trade deadline. And now he's heading to the postseason. Hey, you came over here from a team that wasn't winning. No, 21 Savage, it just tends to do that to people. Braves basically locked into that second seed in the NL, but you never know if the Dodgers go off the fritz here, so they keep playing. Finishing the series versus San Fran, Nick Markakis. He looks like he has a shot at this one, but it's going to drop in a two Giants score. That was the least of their concerns in this 4-1 loss, though. Freddie Freeman leaves this one early with elbow discomfort. He will not travel to Kansas City with the team for their series this week, but manager Brian Snicker says he would have played if the playoffs were to start tomorrow. You know, at times it just it kind of bites him a little bit. Then it, you know, he does treatment and he's good for an extended period. And um, so it's nothing worse, nothing, you know, it probably is not as bad as it was last time, actually. Um, but it's enough that, you know, it, it, if we have some time to let him sit and, and get it better, then we're going to take it. It's obviously not ideal, uh, but it responded pretty good with that off day um, last week. So we're going to hope. Four days off is gonna is gonna do the real trick here, where I can have no problems going into the last weekend of the season, into the postseason. Coming up, part of the Clemson highlight we didn't show you for a reason. Want to know why? You got to grab another bag of popcorn, and we'll show you when we come back. <laughs> 